Okay, I'm just going to move the focus arm out of the way. You can see the blue line there, that's the data date. The data date is situated on the in project on the left hand side, so if I select that. The data date at the moment is set for automatic, which means it will be on today's date. I can change that to manual and then actually enter a date, which I'm going to do here. So I change that to the 4th of September. Okay, so it looks like that's halfway through that task there. And we're going to monitor this slab zero task. So if I go to general and I'm going to start change the state of this task from planned to start. Choose planned start, select OK. You see that the bar has changed to grey and the green bar that's across there is the original duration. The white is how much is complete there. You can see the delay on there and we're at 45% complete. I want to monitor that task and we are actually behind schedule so I'm going to change this to 15% complete. You can see there that it's going to take us longer to finish the task because we are late. Um, we're only 15% complete there. The orange is a report of the variant that we've got. If you go to the re progress report that's been created for that and then move down, you see these have been populated. We've got a variant of 30% there, gives us the hours variance and estimated finish time in there. Similarly, if we went to say it was 85% complete, it would be the other way and we're finishing before schedule, etc. Okay, as you can see we're viewing this in work breakdown structure. If we change to activity code mode, we've got no activity code applied there at the moment. And you can create activity codes in Synchro. If I select on the left hand side and navigate activity codes, right click, add a code, I could call that one piling for example. Just turn it on and give that a colour. Oops, sorry. Background colour, my green. And we give that code a value. I'll just leave it as zero zero as a AAA at the moment. Do another one there. I can call that columns, for example. Go and give it a value. Maybe call this one BBB. So CCC. Turn it on. Background colour again. Another one called it beans. This obviously could be areas or whatever activity codes that you want to put in there or levels, say. Okay. Change the colour of that one as well. Wait a okay, if you want to apply these to taps, you can simply just drag drag and drop the value onto task so I could move that onto this task and then drop it onto that and you can see that then it's gone into the activity code work breakdown structure. You could actually go to file and then find task. I could say pile and then find all and it finds all the pile tasks in the list and then I can simply drag and drop that onto there and that puts them all into that activity code. So me, I'm going to put I'm going to put slab in there, find all, and if I the slab activity code, I apply it to that. Beams. And apply that to those tasks there. So you can see you can quickly build up your gun viewing activity codes. Just do the last one there for slabs.
Well, there we go. So I'll change back to work breakdown structure. You can see, you see quite easily you can manipulate your uh, the Gantt chart there if you wanted to. You could change simply change dates, for example, in there. Uh, if you wanted to change the link, you'd select it and go to links. Select the link there, which is successor one, for example. I could change that to, for example, to start to start. I'd have to just hit F9 to reschedule. That reschedule in there like that, and that completes the scheduling.